Hello and welcome to Let's Play 007 Bloodstone with me, Mr. Matt Clackable. In the last episode, we carried on travelling through the catacombs trying to find Professor Tedworth. Uh, we did bump into a prisoner and he very helpfully told us some information about who might be trying to get the info, uh, the secret biotech information, and his name is Bernin, some evil, low-level gangster type middleman bloke who uh, is going to be after the valuable stuff. Um, so I'm guessing Tedworth is going to be somewhere behind here, and probably Benin as well. And uh, I kind of glazed over Benin last episode, whoops, but uh, now we're out to get him and and make sure he doesn't do anything dangerous with some of that USB information. Let's go. See see if uh, we can follow Tedworth's voice and the screams. What is this? What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Kill him! Let's get out of here! Let's go! I'm late for the handoff. He's here! Let's move! <laughs> oh crap! That's not a good way to start, I was waiting for Turner to stop. Okay, finally, we are out of the skanky catacombs, out of the dingy place and uh, into the streets of Istanbul. Very bright, cheerful, sunny, we are in a car chase now though. Things have livened up. And um, here we get to do a little bit of driving. Oh, I just glitched <laughs> straight through that van. <laughs> What's going on? Um, okay then, so, yes. We're now after Benin. He's trying to run away. See how Bond... Oh, crap. Don't get stuck on a buddy post. See how Bond did not kill him? Oh, no. When the screen goes like that, it's probably got too far away. Damn it! Okay. We're going to try this again. I never did like this section of the game, actually. Because the... now we're on to a racing section. I think it's about time to actually tell you that the car sections aren't very good. The, and the reason for that is because you never really feel like you have control of the car. It's very, very sluggish. And well, that's not fair. How's that fair? Get out of my way. Um, it's very sluggish and you can't move very much. I mean, it's very... It sounds stupid, but it's very slow. I mean, look, don't get away again. Didn't you go black and white on me now? It's a stupid game. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've, I... As I said in the early episode, I've never played Project Gotham Racing. I don't usually play racing games, but this just does not feel natural. If you've played this game, um, I mean, I like all the the scenery and all the explosions and all that stuff. Oh, 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 oh okay. But he's pulling a U-turn in the tunnel. Where's he heading? He seems to be going to the docks. Double O Seven, stay with him. Okay, to the docks. Documents. It is. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really like it. And there's, there's not many racing sections. Oh my way, don't crush me. But uh, of the ones that there are, they're not they're not great. I appreciate what they tried to do though, but they could have done it better. Um, it seems like any kind of racing section in a game. I remember in, from Russia with Love, they had a few uh, racing sections in Istanbul actually. The um, the game for the PS2 with Sean Connery. They had a few racing bits, and that was pretty poor as well. Maybe it's just whenever they try and do more than one thing. Because actually, there is a Bond racing game which people really like. I forgot the name of it now, but... There is a dedicated racing game for Bond, and apparently that's supposed to be really good. So maybe if you just focus on one thing, it, it, it works out, but... They just can't seem to get the mixture right. And this is so... on It's, it's basically on rails. On rails driving section. Um... Because you can't move very far, 
you've got a very, very linear, limited path to move in. So, yeah. There we go. Racing. Racing. Yeah. Really, I think it's the word to describe it. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in. No, Bond! Should have used handbrake. Okay, here we are. I've just turned that corner where I died before. And I think it's best to say right now, before the race chase finishes, look at the license plate of the Aston Martin DB5. Look at it. Can you see what it says? BMT216A. That is nice attention to detail there. That is the um, original license plate from Goldfinger. With the, uh, the first appearance of the Aston Martin DB5 and all of that. Oh, no! Stupid... You, that would not happen. What the hell was that? Stupid rock. Okay, we got past that part now. <laughs> not caught on the side of uh, the road. Yeah, so, I like the... I like, ooh, slow-mo thing. I like the license plate and I like the little attention to detail there. Also, you can see that in the latest Skyfall trailer. I'll talk about that later, but um, it's also mentioned there. Alright, we're coming up to the end of the chase now. Okay, see once again, Bond is indestructible. Indestructible! Come on, come around the corner so I can do a bit of that. Okay, nice. And Joe, I'll use it on you, why not? Um, yeah, I mean, look. Bam! Car upside down crashed into a wreck and not even. Is anyone there? No, not even a scratch. Look at, look at the camera, Daniel Craig. Come on, brooding face. Uh, anyone here? Let's have a look at our smartphone. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, it seems we're in some kind of ruin now. More ruins. We get them, well, we are in. No, we're in Istanbul, aren't we? Not Greece anymore. That was the prologue. Get with the times, Joe! Alright, gotta kill these few people. And I was talking about, or just about to bring up, the, um. The noob tubing wheel. Shotgun, I mean. Um, I was just about to bring up the Skyfall trailer. Teaser trailer. Um, but first, let's get this intel. It seems to be... What does it say? Crashed truck. Okay. Light armoured vehicle registered to Benin. Although, ostensibly a licensed wine importer. Mm, Benin primarily serves as a courier for the underworld. He has earned a reputation for speed and ruthlessness, and his services are high demand or are in high demand among the criminal fraternity. Well, let's go kill him. So he can no longer do any of that. And maybe steal some wine off him as well. That'd be quite nice. I'm sure Bond knows all about wine. He does. Of course he does, he said. He knows all the fancy foods and caviar and wines and avocados. So, definitely avocados. I remember reading about avocados <laughs> in one of the Bond books. Okay. So yeah, Skyfall. Skyfall is, of course, the latest Bond film. It's about to come out with uh, Daniel Craig's third outing. Stop shooting me. Oh, it's because I've got no ammo. Okay. And they've just released... Well, not just, actually. A few weeks ago. But they've just released... <laughs> I said it again. They released a teaser trailer for it. About damn time. I mean, obviously, MGM had a lot of trouble. Why can I not kill these two people? MGM had a lot of trouble with money past year. Two years, even. With, um, well, going bankrupt, basically. And it could have been the end for uh, the Bond world. Well, it was never going to be the end. It's too rich and too fruitful of a franchise to uh, just drop. But um, it was going to delay the Bond film by quite a lot. Luckily, something happened with... Uh... Oh, you're getting on my nerves now. I just want to kill you. There we go. Luckily, something happened. Someone bought in or a deal was made. Someone invested. 
And uh, yeah, change gun, please. So they're back making films, finally. And actually, they've timed it quite well. I mean, they've purposely timed it um, for this year, 2012, because it is going to be the 50th anniversary since the first Bond film, Doctor No, in 1962. Is that right? 50 years? Yeah. Um, hopefully, and they're going to tie that into the film slightly, I hope they're not going to go over the top like in Die Another Day, which was... Uh, Oh, 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 can I shoot that? Oh, yeah, in Die Another Day they did the, the 40th anniversary since the first Bond film, because that was in 2002, but they kind of went a bit silly with the references to um to the other Bond films, and it's just a bit stupid, but I mean, that, that's one of the things that you could tell from the trailer, is that they're, they're definitely acknowledging the past films in Skyfall with the, the license plate from Goldfinger, so that's good. Gives me promise. It's very subtle as well. Subtle, not over the top, just a nice little reference to the, the great history the series has. Um, I think I'm going to watch the Skyfall trailer again and probably talk about it in a bit more detail because I can't remember it too well. Um, I remember there being uh, Union Jacks over coffins. Come on, let's, let's actually aim with the crosshairs on him. And I remember some very pretty colours at some part of it. But, yeah, I'll, go, I'll probably watch it again and bring it up. But I'm very, very, very excited for Skyfall. Uh, even more so than, than Dark Knight Rises, which is... It could be to some blasphemy, you know. That is going to be the film of the summer. And, oh, no, 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 no. Get behind some cover, you silly agent. Yeah, so, um... I'm definitely looking forward to it more than Dark Knight. I've just got a little, a little soft spot for Bond films and, and the 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 kind of atmosphere it creates. Stop throwing grenades at me because I can't run away from them very well. Oh, oh wait! Oh, there's someone there! No! Oh, you get away from the wall when I tell you to next time. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm not too sure when um, the Bond film comes out. Sometime, I think it's probably around Christmas. But uh, I will be very excited about that, as I've said many times now. Um, but I think I'll talk about Skyfall more when I've actually watched that trailer, so I actually know something about it. Although I don't want to know too much about it, because that would just ruin it. And I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be... Well, I, I, I think I know that it's not going to be related to Quantum. Two-parter. Quantum of Solace, Quantum of Solace even was a sequel to Casino Royale. Come here, come here with your head. Oh, keep just, just missing slightly. Uh, so I think it's going to be the first kind of standalone one of the of Daniel Craig's. Oh, 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 oh. I hope you'll get some inf interesting development in his character. I read a little bit of it, but I want more. This is supposed to be early Bond, after all. Take that. I actually need some focus aim, so that's very useful. Um, and actually, I need some ammo. So, do you have some? I'll take that, thanks. Um, actually, I should be keeping an eye on, on intels. I've just Before recording, I wrote some down about where they are. Um, let's just have a quick check. No, I don't think there's any yet. What's this? Just, just a camera. There's no, just a light. Usually it comes up with a little scanner anyway. Um, scanner, smartphone symbol. Or when you have to uh, check Intel. So, I, I'm not exactly sure where we are. Is there someone behind me? Oh! Mmm, I hate... Why can't we? That's what's really annoying. We can't throw grenades. We don't have grenades. They do. Come on, let's make it fair. Right, you'll get my nerves. You don't. Okay, everyone gone? Let's check with the smartphone, the amazing phone that does everything. Ah. Oh. Can we go up there? I think we have to go up there. Let's have a look. Where's the waypoint? Yeah, it's up there. Let's just check first what is around here. Some pots. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. 
What's this now? Ah! Um, archaeological notes. Okay. Although much of the Roman... Ah, oh, that's where we are. A Roman amphitheatre is in a dangerously unstable state. Some areas have been reinforced and opened to the public. The recently reopened tunnel, to the right of the main entrance, offers an insight into what gladiators would have experienced as they entered an arena to confront their fate. That's quite cool. We're in a Roman amphitheatre. That's a difficult word to say. And, um... So what, there have been lions here and stuff. Big animals to kill. Okay. Well, I've just checked the time, because I kind of got a bit carried away there with Skyfall. And I think it's probably time to end this episode. So, um, we're keeping up with Benin, just. Gotta make sure he doesn't do the, the switch over and give away the priceless information. Maybe we'll kill him. Maybe we're just, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the new Bond style, we won't kill him. Because we're not just a killing, ruthless machine. We're going to keep him for information. Who knows? Uh, so we'll find out next episode. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.